Uh, hello, my name is Chinofaram Chong and I'm the founder of uh, XRT Technologies. Uh, we technology startup, we started in 2018. Basically, yesterday there's a one man show. So basically, I was working for a smartphone uh, company, smartphone manufacturer here in Zimbabwe. And then I just identified a problem there. They were not bringing space for their phones. So then I just took this an opportunity upon me and um, I started buying those space from China, import them into Zimbabwe, and started supplying those. Uh, the business started growing bit by bit. And then um, we, we started then, registered the company, and then we started uh, moving on. So now, um, being in the business, we've seen other opportunities. For example, there is no institution in Zimbabwe that was uh, offering training for technicians. So again, I took it upon myself. I started building a team. Uh, now we, we know every branch in Arare and uh, also in Blawayo, and we are also registered in, in Zambia. So the, this has been the journey for us. And uh, we now have trained many people. Our estimates are that we have trained over 300 technicians here in Zimbabwe and some in Zambia. So that has been our story since the beginning. Accreditation is a very tricky pro thing right now it's, um, in Zimbabwe and in the world because uh, you know, the the issues with the right to repair. So, you know, this manufacturer, they don't want anyone else to repair their phones. So the bodies that I generally offer accreditation if not really come on board in terms of offering this. But some of these, uh, it's, a, it's a worldwide battle um, for these uh, programs to get accreditation. And uh, we hope that will be achieved very soon and will also be part of the accreditations that will happen. What we have seen is that this does not require anyone to be educated uh, for them to be able to learn how to fix phones or to fix laptops. If someone can be able to read and then they said how to use their phone, it, it, they can know at least mostly the basics, maybe the advanced parts, which we, we are now doing up to chip level. Maybe that's what they may not be able to master, but basic things like screen replacement, replacing charging ports, Everyone else can be able to, to, to learn that. So this has been a huge opportunity. Like many of our students are doing amazing things out there. You know, we, we, they have workshops, so they have little spaces where they, they are fixing phones or fixing laptops. So yeah, it, it's been, it's, it has proven itself to be a very lucrative opportunity for most uh, young people. And we see adults, we have seen 50 year olds, they come for, the, for this training, <laughs> they still wanna learn. And also another encouraging thing is we're seeing a lot of women, young young women that are coming on board this. See, this is an opportunity that's available in the market. We wanted to be part of it. And we're so happy. And right now in Blau, I actually have a lady trainer. So it's something that's that's been so exciting. It's been an exciting gen. We have tried smaller cities, but it's, uh, it's proven to be a challenge uh, because uh, the uptake was so, so minimal. So we couldn't really continue with our operations in the smaller cities. That's why we, we decided to stay in Arre and Blaio. And our branch in Zambia, it's, uh, it's on and off. So we go there and offer training. Then when we're done training, we close for some time. Then we open when we want to train again. So 2021 has been, it's been a tricky year. The good, the amazing thing is this day that we've grown the most, surprising. Uh, regardless of the you know, you challenges that we, we faced, the pandemic, you know, this really the year began on the lockdown. So January, February, we couldn't even train anyone. So there was no trainings happening. But then we started figuring out, you know, we sometimes would do, let's say theoretical part, uh, the theoretical, you know, part of the program, we would do it online. Then we let a few people come in the workshop to, to do the practical training. So that's how we have navigated. But then, we figured out some things about the market and we really grew. That's when we opened uh, the Blower branch. That's when we opened in Zambia. And we actually, we were offering this training in Tari, Gueru, and Mashingo. Uh, so we, we we have grown so much and we have managed to, you know, capacitate our workshops. We now have equipment. I think you can see some of the equipment behind the microscopes. Really expensive equipment. Uh, you know, so we, we have managed to, to do that uh, in 2021, uh, besides the, the challenges that we, that we were facing. Basically, we are so funded. Uh, we are so funded. We, we have tried raising funds 
Uh, but it's proven to be a little bit of a challenge. So if nobody believes in you, what do you do? You show that you believe in yourself. Then you take it upon yourself. You go out there and do everything. So from everything that you've done, it's been the money that we get from the people that are being trained. It's the money that you've reinvested. Like, we take it like you're doing community service. That we, you know, that means you're not spending much on our personal lives or anything or luxury. We're spending on buying equipment. Uh, we're spending on other things. You know, you'll be surprised that by the beginning of this year, we only had like two, three OT sessions. <laughs> so we really basically taken everything that we're getting and reinvested into the business. Um, and, you know, because, you know, we are, we are doing something positive uh, in, the co in the country. We are helping young people. And um, we're also following our passions. This is, a pas this is like a passion project. <laughs> <laughs> because every day we are trying to explore, you know, b before we just doing screen replacements, basic thing, charging ports, replacements. I like, we want to get to the chipsets. We want to replace the capacities. We want to replace the small companies. And now we're doing that. So it's like an evolution of uh, us exploring our passions. And uh, we have an amazing team. And that, that's how we, we have money to roll. Yeah, there's a huge difference between the technician that you see on the street, who, you know, the ordinary techniques that you see, and someone who, who repairs uh, these devices, you know, cheap level. This is, so this is electronics. You know, the, the average guy, the average genius that you know on the street, they don't know anything about it, uh, you know, electronics. They don't know how, <laughs> they, they don't know what is resistance. They don't know what is anything. <laughs> Replacing a screen does not really require any knowledge in uh, electronics. So this is, Learning basically about electronics, but fortunately, I have a, I have a background. Um, I won't be a science person. I did sciences, uh, you know, um, it's A level, and I went on to university. The program that I was doing, there was electronics in there. So, and also my team, they would, you know, background with those things. So, that's why it's been easy. So, it's just take like taking the knowledge that you already had and then applying it specifically to the, to the industry to the to the you know to the smartphones or to the laptops that you're now repa re repairing uh you know at the chip level and also youtube is you know it's a university <laughs> huge library everything is there so we learn yeah i think the most uh, important part was getting the equipment and that was the most difficult because it takes a lot of money you save for some time for you to be able to to acquire this uh, set of the art equipment Sometimes, you know, I don't know if I'm being impatient or what, but I think we, we're not moving as much as we should, you know. And because my vision is much, much bigger than what I'm doing right now. I'm very, I'm, I'm a very unsatisfied person. <laughs> Sometimes I get into depression. I get depressed because I don't feel like we're moving as much as we should. Uh, so the setup environment, it's really internal access to funding. Uh, we have a huge amount of work to do. We haven't done much in terms of that. You know, if you want to get an investor in Zimbabwe, you have to go and try to appease them <laughs> to invest in your business. <laughs> but in other markets, investors are looking for setups to invest in because they're like, we're going to get profits. But in Zimbabwe, it's like you're asking for a favor. You are, you're begging someone. You know, you're trying to tell your investors, if you invest in this, the advantages of investing are this. You know, tell, before you tell them the advantage of investing in your business you tell them the advantage of investing in general so it's a challenge but i think um we cannot uh, continue whining and complaining one day we, we're gonna figure this out and you know do some amazing things as we want to do so the, the foreign pay market is, it's a very fragmented market uh, <laughs> like you know i always ask technicians this is what i made them who is the best like no one no one you know, is the power to see this one is the best. So it's a very fragmented market, you know, from the downtown kind of stuff, um, you know, up to the guys that are uptown. But now we're seeing some guys that are really serious, um, that are investing in equipment. You know, I know a guy who is in equipment that's worth between fifteen to $20,000 in the repair space. So we're now seeing some very serious people. Uh, so it's, especially now, it's competitive in certain areas, like general hardware repairs, like screen replacements, the basic stuff. But in terms of uh, the advanced uh, chip level repairs that we're now doing, the competition is very low. There might be maybe 
three or four other people that know how to do this in town besides us. Um, then you go to areas like software, uh, you know, the software repairs, not men know how to do that because you need a bit of education to understand how these things work. It's, it's different from replacing a charging port. So that's how the market is basically like, but it's a very lucrative market. Um, I think everyone in Zimbabwe almost has a phone. So that means, you know, the market keeps expanding. It's never shrinking. When it comes to re repairs, so let's say basic screen replacement, uh, the fee that we charge is uh, from $10. But now it depends with the screen. So if the screen is more expensive, it's kind of an insurance that you have to pay. That, you know, if anything, uh, if you face a problem, we need to replace the screen. You're not making huge losses. So if from $10, you know, there's screens that are very expensive. If you look at especially Samsung screens, Samsung has screens that cost up to $500. So it, it basically varies uh, with the kind of uh, phone we're dealing with. Then on the academy side, um, basically, so we, we have, uh, we're offering training uh, for smartphones, then training for, for computers. So basically it's 100 US dollars for each of the program. And the full program now, which gets up to cheap level, runs for three months. So for those three months, someone pays $100 per month uh, for them to learn. And, you know, that's very cheap according to, to other standards because $300 is money that someone will be able to make. If, you know, someone who is just doing averagely well, who is not even exceptional, can make that in a month. So we're saying that money that you can make in a month, you can pay that and you learn the whole skill, the skill that can you know, help you for the next coming years. Because once we teach you how to repair the phones, you'll be able to repair the phones that are going to come out in 2025 going forward because the, the skills, you just keep evolving, but they, they, we, you have the basic skill that we have given you. I want to make X a, a smartphone brand. We want to manufacture phones because phones is all we know. We know phones today smallest resistor on the on the smartphone to the smallest capacitor so this is my goal this is what i'll be fighting for that we make xr a smartphone brand you know we can start with our basics like just assembling here in zimbabwe then we move on to actually making the the chips the the you know the the motherboards here in zimbabwe so that's it that's how where we are going and now we also ventured into software development because we want to make phones, so we have to really be good at making the softwares. So, I, I, this is what I'll be pursuing. I don't know if I'm going to hit the goal, but this is what I'll be putting all my energy towards. Um, and I believe we will hit the goal one day. <laughs>